Hi, I'm Marius from MS Photography, and welcome back to another episode of Digital Photography Today, the show where you will learn how to become the master of your camera. Today's topic, we are going to look at black and white. Now, most cameras, you'll be able to shoot black and white directly on the camera. I just prefer not to. And the reason for that is the color image might just be better. Now, if you are shooting in JPEG format on your camera, and you do shoot in black and white, you won't be able to go back to a color image. So if the image does not look good, and you've taken the black and white, you've, you're basically losing the option to have the image in color, unless you took both. If you are uh, shooting in a RAW format, that's something I will cover in a future episode, but if you are shooting in RAW, you will be able to change the image back from black and white to color. But if you shoot JPEG, then the image is black and white, you can't do anything to it. So rather just shoot it in color and then convert it on Photoshop. Now I'm going to show you a very quick method that you can do this and it's also very powerful because you can control your contrast very easily with this method. Now the first thing we need to do is to get rid of the color in this image. So you can use the following shortcut for this and that is Control, Shift and U. Now you'll notice that the image looks very soft and very gray. Now for this image it's actually not such a bad idea but most images I would prefer to have some nice contrast in there and you will see now when you add contrast it does look a lot better. Now to add contrast, very easy to do, we're just going to use levels, the same tool we used in episode 4 of Digital Photography today. So you just press Control and L on your keyboard, L for levels, and your levels dialog screen will open up right here. Now the two points that you'll most of the time be working with will be the black point for the shadows and then the middle point for the for your, your gray point for your middle tones and your white point maybe now and then but be careful with it because if you use it just look at the image it can destroy your image very quickly it blows your highlights very quickly so another important thing is that you don't want to make the image too black and white or you don't want to make the, the shadow areas this side right here you don't want to make it too dark because then you'll be losing information for instance if I take this black point and I drag it all the way here you'll start to see that it'll end up being completely dark here and there's no information in these areas I'm just going to take this point back to the beginning now there's a very easy method that you'll be able to see exactly where you are losing all the details in the shadow areas of your image if you hold down the alt key and then click on this point right here you'll see the image will turn white and there will be a few sections that are like on this image that are a little bit dark or some of them completely dark that means there's no information in those sections so the shadow areas there are completely gone so if I drag it even further, you'll see there's more black sections and then places of, this, of the man's face and the beard and everything is starting to become completely black. So if I let go here, this section here is completely black. There's no information there and also no information here. So be very careful when you use this method that you don't make the image too dark. Right, so how are we going to go about setting the contrast just right. And another quick tip that you can also use, um, if you are using this on Photoshop CS, this is now Elements 11, um, Elements has got a reset button right here. So if you are, maybe did that and you don't like it, you can just press the reset button there and it'll go back to normal. There's no reset button on CS. So the only thing you'll have to do is just hold down the Alt key and you'll also see there the cancel becomes a reset. But it's pretty pointless on this because there's already a reset button here. But th that helps when you use in Photoshop CS. So just hold down the Alt key and then click on the reset and it will reset all these sliders for you. So you can continuously play and see if you're getting it right. Okay, so what we can do to make this image look a lot better is to take the black point, drag it back a little. Then you'll start to notice the contrast has already improved. To see the difference of this, just go to the preview here, click on it to see the before, there you can see the before, click on it again and you'll see the after, you'll notice the image, the contrast has improved. And what you can do is to, so that the image doesn't get too dark too quickly. Just take this middle point right here and move it a little closer to the black point. Then take the black point and move it closer to the middle point again. And then the middle point closer to the black and the black closer to the middle. You'll notice the contrast has become a lot 
darker, but this is the way I like to see most of my images. So let's look at the grayscale image we started with. If I click on the preview, just look at that and then look at this when I click on the preview. Now I think this looks a lot better as a black and white image. And then when you're done, just click on OK and then File, Save, and that's it. Now that's all for this week's episode. If you have enjoyed this quick look at black and white on Photoshop, then subscribe to the channel and then get all the Digital Photography Today episodes as they come out. That's all from my side and I'll see you next week when we look at another camera technique.